I was at Tractor Supply the other day and I found some of these uh, pretty cool looking welding clamps. Um, they look like they'll be real handy and you know I got gift cards to use up and stuff so I figured I'd uh, grab some of them and just you know try and pair, try a couple pairs out because I do work with a lot of pipe and um, I'm getting ready to build like a roll cage on my little trencher and stuff just using you know plain pipe and it's always hard to kind of get it aligned and um, you know get get everything properly aligned when you're trying to weld it so um these look like they do a real good job and as you can see they're packaged in um adult proof packaging here you know this is made for five-year-olds to open up i guess but um you know once you get them out there they're they're kind of like a vice grip and um they've got a nice uh nice lever on the screw end of them there and they just um they just like a vice grip back and forth and one surprise i got is well the one pair here you can see how that um, black piece slides right down in the clamp and works fine well the other one um it won't move it's uh, just jammed in there uh, apparently when they put it together at the factory uh it looks like they overbent that tube there and um so it's pinching on that piece and it's just jammed in there really tight. I figured I'd uh, start by trying to hammer it out and see if I could loosen it up a little. Um, it really didn't work. It's kind of springy and just kept bouncing back, but sometimes you just don't give up. So um, finally I did give up with the, uh, the hammer because there was no way to get it out. It was jammed in there just too tight. So, um, you know, next I was actually able to get a screwdriver in there to act as a spacer between that screw and the, um, that little lever that's jammed in there. And that was just enough so I could uh, push it forward and break it loose and get it open. Um, it's funny because I, I think these clamps are made in the USA. It didn't really say where they're made on it, but... Um, you know, there seems to be a manufacturing defect there. And um, so it's, it's amazing. I got to use a Chinese Harbor Freight grinder to fix an American tool that I just bought. But um, basically what I did, and, you know, you should never do this at home. I, I had to take the guard off to get it in there and have access. And I had to try to grind out that little um, that little area. You can see how it's pinched real tight in the front there. So I had to grind away some of that just to... Um, to get it so that I could you know get that piece to slide in there on this one um, and I, I hit it once and then I went back and I you know I just wanted to take a little bit at a time off so I hit it a couple times in the end I wound up going back about four or five times and you know like I said you should never remove the the guard from the grinder like I did here but I had no other way to really get it in there and you know I was trying to be real careful so finally after um you know after hitting a little bit and then trying it and hitting a little bit i got it so that the um part would actually there it is see how it slides in there nice now so that seems to be fixed um working good now and you know i on the package they did have a, a little thing that said that there was a lifetime warranty on them and you could bring it back to your store to purchase but you know it would have taken me like an hour and a half to get the tractor supplying them back so that only took about maybe four minutes to fix so you know it's over with and the nice thing about these are that um you can just kind of put them on the pipe to get them you know pre-sized and just crank on that lever on the side there and just bring it up so that they're you know it's tight on there and then you can um you you can give it a little bit more of a of a turn so that it will clamp well there i didn't give it any more turn and you'll see that it's um it's not a real tight clamp on it but you know you can see how it aligns it so i just went back and i i gave it another quarter of a turn and you know clamped it again and this time everything was nice and tight and aligned and um you know everything is perfectly aligned with these and you have room to get in there and tack weld that side there in the other side and then you could always rotate it 90 degrees again and do the same thing and tack it and then go back and weld it um another thing i get into is like uh you know when you want to weld two angles together um 
sometimes you have to you know weld two together or weld one inside the other the jaws on this really um adapt nice to that and they clamp everything tight there's no slippage or anything like when you try to you know put a c-clamp or something on it so you know they really do have a nice set of jaws on them for for lining things and then i got this you know this is the smallest size set they make i think they do make larger ones but um the biggest piece of tubing that you can align with them is uh here's a three by three and you really couldn't go any bigger but you know you can actually use it to to you know butt together tubing or rectangular tubing or you know anything else and really hold everything perfectly aligned so they do look like they're going to be, you know, really handy. And um, sometimes you, you want to just, you know, weld a piece around into an angle or something like that. And same thing here. You just clamp it and, you know, everything's really clamped good and held good. And it allow you to, you know, to not worry about it slipping apart or anything. So, you know, all in all, it looks like these are going to be a real handy clamp to have around. And, you know, you're going to be seeing them used in... Um, my follow-up videos and stuff so we can see how they stand up and everything but um you know i think that they're they're really gonna fit my needs good thanks for watching please subscribe